Welcome to the explanation for creating and using recipes in the Ferenbridge operating system. First of all, make sure that you log in here with your login name and your login code. Assuming you already got all the rights to make recipes and components, etc. In order to make recipes, you need components. So if we click components, you can see a complete list of components already put in here. You easily scroll down, press the add button, and we can add a component. For example, a natural. Which is a natural. And if you want, you can put in an ID number. Sometimes one, for example, or whatever you want to use. If you save it, you will see that it is added to the list right here. Name, type. So if we add another one, we make an additive test. Additive. Of course, it's an additive. No ID needed here when we save it. Now we can see that there's a test natural and there should be a test additive. Test additive. So we can see we made a typo. Simply choose it, change what you want to change. Test additive capital can be small. Save again. And now we see that it's here. And this way you can add your components. Now we are able to make a recipe. So if you choose recipes, you can start making recipes. Here you have all the existing recipes you could change just by clicking them. So you click a recipe, you open it, and now you can change this recipe. We want to make a new recipe. So we choose the button Add. And we can give in a name. The ID number will be automatically generated. It will take the first three number and make it the ID number. We can choose a name, test recipe. We can put in a description a recipe used for demo video. Uh, allowed on, you can say on which machines you can use it. And here you have to define the node numbers of the machine. So it's important that every machine has a unique uh, node number which you can create with the dip switches on the controller of the blender. In this case we want to be able to use it on any machine. Here we have the standard or percentage mode. The differences between standard and percentage are mentioned in the manual. There you can see how you can use it and what you should use in your case. The volume ratio is the percentage of the complete batch you want to use. So if, for example, we have a FGB5, you put 100%, you have a batch of 5 kilos. If you put it at 50%, you will have a batch of 2.5 kilos. Number of components, it will be put the number of components here, which are in the recipe. Now there's only one component, so we will put one. Now I can say in hopper 1, I want to have my test additive. Just start typing the name. Choose it. And I want to have 2%. I have to add a component. This is in hopper 3. And this is my test natural. So I choose test natural. And as it, this is a percentage recipe, and the percentage is not 100, these squares are red. I change it to 98. Everything is in green because it has to be 100. Now I can save this recipe. Of course I could also change the alarm settings or the sequence. So now we will be dosing hopper 1 first, then hopper 3. By using these arrows I can change it. So now it's number 1. I click it. Now we have first hopper 3 and then hopper 1. But I want to have hopper 1 first, the small component, and I press the save button. You want to save it? Yes, update it. Yes, update this please. So now here we see our test recipe number 12. So if I go to a Graphimix, for example this one, and I say, you know what, I want to select this recipe we just created. 
I just click it in the list and I say OK. And the recipe will be loaded into this machine. Probably I have to change my batch reference now because it's a new recipe to so make it 4321. I say OK. Everything ready. Check if the material is in the hoppers because with the startup of a new recipe we calibrate all the speeds of the machine. So it's important to have the material in it. Press start to start the blender and you will be off producing what you want to produce. Press stop and it will stop end of cycle. I hope this is a clear explanation. If you have any questions, please check our other videos or contact your dealer and you will be helped in the best possible way. Thank you very much.